What is up everyone? How you doing? VST here in the place to be having a vape. Having a good old time. Shooting in HD today under some natural light because uh, I'm doing a few videos today and two of them are newer mods uh, that are both very beautiful. So I want the HD-ness, you know, to, uh, to come out there. So, uh, alright, we're talking about the Alehi, 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 I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it. It's spelled A-L-I apostrophe I. And it is from R and R Manufacturing, who are the makers of the Journeyman. Probably can't see their card being white, but it's R and R Manufacturing.com. Uh, plus, there's lots of info on their product on my site, NickFitNation.com, um, as well as a deal where you can get some free shipping offers there. You have to go to the site and read about that. So, uh, you remember my favorite mod? As I said before. That's what the video was called, my favorite mod ever. Uh, I guess, well, it's no longer true because uh, this is now my favorite mod. Uh, like I said, same manufacturer, same kind of idea. Both are bottom feeders. That one had the three mil inside. Uh, this one has a bigger bottle. This one is rocking a six mil. And uh, same battery kind of setup. Got the uh, 18650 in there, uh, 3.7 volts. You can use a normal atomizer, I'm using the low resistance. Uh, you can also run two CR123s, 3 volt each, stack those in there and you'd get uh, 6 volts. Same thing. So uh, tech stuff's all the same. Uh, a few changes, um, all to the good in my opinion. Uh, one, eliminating the plunger, which can get caught in your pocket. Uh, now it has a window, which is very convenient. Uh, I actually have the left-handed version because I'm a lefty, so when you're vaping you just take, I take this finger anyways, squeeze, and it's very uh, visible now, so you can really see the e-liquid so you know from a distance, you don't really have to look at it. And it doesn't matter if you overfill it, it has a huge reservoir there, and you can actually see the e-liquid uh, dripping back into the bottle, uh, which is uh, very cool if you overdo it. So you see, do that again. So overfill it, and then you can see it uh, dripping back down. Oh, so much for HD. But I can see it. It's a beautiful sight. So you can see it's just kind of drained down in there now. And uh, you can do that several times. You really can't flood this thing. Uh, the most you can flood it is about a third of a vape. You know, I'll fill it for a third time now just to show you. So there's a third time of me filling it all the way to the brim of that reservoir. And I tell you, that reservoir is awesome uh, because that was my one complaint about the Journeyman. I noticed sometimes if you're uh, watching TV or driving and you kind of had it partially upside down like this or something the gravity a little bit of e-liquid would come out and this being so flush the e-liquid could kind of drip down the side never did any damage or shorted anything but could kind of make it greasy on the top and have to wipe it but now you got this huge reservoir there so I've filled this thing like three times now and as you can see it's drained all back down uh, damn sure the Addy's nice and wet uh, but you just vape through it so Yeah, it, uh, you know, nice, good, moist vapor, which I like all the time. Uh, getting rid of the plunger, plunger was a bonus. The, the reservoir is a bonus. Um, they've also moved the uh, power switch to there. Still not really accessible with your finger, per se, unless you get a fingernail, um, but easy enough with any tip of a pen or whatever. You just pop it back and forth. I've never actually used that option, but if I was going to, you know, go on an airplane and this was going in my luggage or something <laughs> like it would like it wouldn't be on me um, but uh, I guess I would turn it off or just take the battery out but it's nice to have that option uh, either way uh, this this button's a little more uh, I guess flush mounted would be the term now compared to before uh, aesthetically is nice for sure and if any juice ever did drip it would probably veer around the switch but I have not had that problem yet I've been using this for at least two three weeks now uh, all day, every day, pretty much, um, except when I'm testing other stuff. But um, yeah, this is my go-to machine now. Uh, same things I like about it was what I liked about the Journeyman: um, convenience and consistency. Uh, now even more convenient. Six mils. Uh, I just got back from the weekend uh, in the big city, and uh, I still haven't topped up my bottle since <laughs> Tuesday, and I left Friday. So six mils can last me a long time, uh, and the battery lasts a couple days. Uh, so, you know, you jump in your car, you're good to go. Boom. 
that's it. That's all you need. Bring an extra battery if you're worried. Uh, it even ships with an extra empty 6 mil bottle, which I probably misplaced, but they're around here somewhere. And you know, it comes with an extra bottle, so you can take one with the cap and switch them out. Maybe you want a couple flavors. And if you want to test flavors, you want to you know drip. You can still drip with these, right? If you vape it off and dry out your Addy or clean out your Addy, you can choose not to squeeze. You can you don't have to use this option. You can still use this as a regular e-cig. You can still drip whatever you want. I mean, sometimes a needle shot of Zambuca, boom, boom, you know, it's good to go. Vape through it, vape it out, you know, clean out your Addy, whatever you want to do. So um, I'm loving this thing. It's very cool. There is a newer model coming out soon with variable voltage, uh, which is, uh, you know, uh, one I'm going to get as well. Uh, so if you want to order these, you know, you might have to get on a list. They're custom. You know, you can pick whatever spine and whatever uh, uh, doors you want, whatever colored kinds of wood. Lots of options on the site. I think you can still use it like this. It's, it's a beautiful thing. I, I love the airflow on it. Uh, I just can't say enough about good things about it. Uh, it's probably one of my high, highest recommended mods. I mean, it's the one I use, you know, but hey, it's all opinion based. Some some people might think this is uh, but ugly, uh, you know. Myself, I love it. I go to pubs or restaurants, wooden tables. It just kind of blends in. It matches. It doesn't look like a bomb or a bong or anything like that. So, you know. I like them. Uh, threaded for a 510. Does ship with a 901 adapter, so if you're old school like your 901, you can pop out the thread and uh, switch it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the Alahi, Alehi, from RR Manufacturing. It will get you there. Uh, I'm Vapor Thompson, and I'll see you real soon. Real soon. Doing another video.